setting up your meeting. We've already set up the meeting. It says on Facebook. Oh, we're live? Well, it says live and it was saying prepare for ages. Now it's saying live on Facebook. Right, okay. Well, we're live on Facebook. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to um, The Abundance Show. This is number 11 in... Um, the Abundance Show series, and today we are going to be unleashing our wild. I have here with me today Ashley K. McPherson, um, who talks about unleashing your wild. Yes, we are live. Um, and right, here we go. Let's check in. We were live. And... <laughs> I've got to just turn the sound off on my phone so I can share it. And um, so, first of all, The Abundance Show. The Abundance Show is um, about being you, becoming abundant, loving yourself, falling into abundance. And we do that through, you know, really honouring who we are. And this show talks about that. We talk about how we move forward in our lives so we move towards that freedom lifestyle that we want. So what I'm going to do now is introduce um, Ashley and she's just going to give you a little background about herself and then we'll move into how we both through getting that wild, that inner wild woman inside us um, learn to love ourselves more and be able to shift into living a really abundant life so what i'd like to do now is welcome ashley hello thanks so much susie for having me on it's so lovely and i'm loving this color contrast between us two now it's really cool um so before i get started i just want to give you the heads up i am mumming right now and theo's asleep so i'm keeping my um, senses heighten there for him. Um, and I'm just going to drop in for a minute. Uh, Ashley and I have actually met one another in uh, in life. I mean, we work in a business together, but we have actually met one another, had a coffee, and I have met the most beautiful, her beautiful son. He is just <laughs> delightful. Oh, yes. Yeah, back at Tweed where we're both, well, Tweed Gold Coast where we're both from. Isn't that funny? What a small world in a global business. We we come from the same place. But um, yeah, well, guys. You, come, you come from here. I've yeah. been living here for what 15 years. And I came here as a teenager for holidays. Um, I never thought I would live here, but I yeah, I actually grew up, and you know why we came here? Because I grew up in Canberra where it was cold. So we came for that August, September um, holidays. And and you didn't leave. That's so great. <laughs> it's a beautiful place yeah. in the world, that's for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for having me on. So what I want to do is really share my story from, like, where I was and why I stepped into it business-wise and then really what happened next mm -hmm. with the abundance and fully loving myself and my journey. So really for like many, many years, even a whole decade, I really started disconnecting from who I truly was. I was, I got into that work life. I was drinking a lot. I smoking. I even, you know, started getting into drugs at a you know, younger age. I started binging in my fitness I started binging in my eating I was surrounding myself in toxic relationships with friends and and boyfriends and things like that so I was really disconnecting with my true self um in amongst all that <laughs> I went away and I started working in the mining industry so I was doing like four weeks on one week off I felt like I was living a in a whole nother world a whole nother life and the mining industry can be quite toxic as well. So yes, I was there. Oh, yes, I was there working with my husband, which was amazing. But we we're both getting stuck together. Um, 
he was my light in all of that life that I'm talking about there. He was my light when I met him. But then we together, we went away and we're getting stuck, we're getting burnt out, we're getting really broken. So for me, when the opportunity come along, Susie, to, you know, step into the online space, bring that flexibility back into my life and, and get myself out of that construction world, I wasn't surprised that I was like all in. So I, I did, I jumped into it. I started educating myself and I started getting results and I was having a lot of fun and I still have a lot of fun because I still do it. Um, and it was my ticket out, right? After five months, I was able to leave that job in mining after doing it for three years. And I've been doing this online platform ever since, doing affiliate marketing, and it's just been amazing. But it's what came next that has truly shifted my whole entire life, right? So I started connecting with the community of people who was who were also doing the business. And, and like yourself, Susie, you're just <laughs> one of the most beautiful people and we've got thousands of us surrounding us, right, That's on a global right. scale. Absolutely. Oh, and um, I started connecting with people. I started going to events, like big events, overseas retreats, um, small evening gatherings. I started building friendships with people, going on coffee dates, you know, like we just were talking about. Um, and it was in those moments, it was at those events, um, in those conversations that I started having big shifts. I started having big conversations with like-minded people, but I started having big conversations with myself. And it was in those experiences that I started coming home to who I truly was. So, yeah, I, I feel the business side of it has been amazing and it's like, representing my physical world what I'm able to do with the flexibility and working online but it's what's changed internally that's just brought so much more abundance into my life it's made me love myself again and honor who I truly am and own who I truly am and and my story like my story might not be that great before but I'm owning it because it's all just part of the journey right so, yeah, when I got started in the platform, it was like the universe gave me, you know, a sign and said, Ash, you have stepped into something that is now changing your life. And he's, you know, and then I was gifted. I fell pregnant within months of that. Um, yeah, so I spent my whole pregnancy working online. I wasn't in the construction world, which is just perfect. Um, and then I brought my son into this energy, right? I brought my son into a whole different vibration. And for me to be able to ripple that onto him and onto my husband and then into, you know, onto his children and it just, like, shine that light out. So, yeah, I'm just forever, ever grateful. And look at her. She's shining. She is oh, shining. I and I've known Ash now for a while and I have actually seen, I've actually seen you change over this period of time. And I think one of the things um, that you've brought up there is, you know, I've got um, this new tagline that I'm playing with at the moment that is be you, become abundant. And what's so special, I think, about um, the... The platform that we're both working in is I come from a teaching background. I've had my own business. I'm a coach and I've done a lot of different things. And it doesn't really matter where you've come from. No. You know, um, there are, like me, there are other artists, there are other coaches, there are people um, like Ash who work in the um, mining industry, there um, are people who worked in trades, people who come from corporate. So we have this myriad of, um, of people. And I was just thinking, I mean, one of the, it's just, I was looking for a community. I didn't know I was going to get such an amazing community when I joined here. But it's just, um, 
And I think the other thing is I was talking with somebody else in our community yesterday was I've done personal development for years, absolutely years. And I wouldn't have thought I really needed to do very much more. Mm. Yeah. But what I've what I discovered was I've probably known this for a long while. To be truly to live the freedom lifestyle that I want to be living um, fully and to be really making a difference in one's in the world, in your life, in your community, mm -hmm. whatever else. You really have to tap into the love that's within you. And it's not always easy, is it, Ash? No, it's not. Because, I mean, we often we live in our old story, right? For me, I'm 33 years old and I've been living in that old story for 31 of those years. Well, not when I was super young, you know, I was just a pure little being. Um, so, yeah, you, you know, it, it we can slip back into our old story and we can feel a bit stuck. And, you know, for me, I didn't, I didn't see a lot of my work back then. So I think when you, you know, I, I hear that often people say, I, I've, I've done a lot of personal development. I don't need to do any more, but in my opinion, it's a never ending journey. Like I think we always need to be tapping in and expanding ourselves and stretching even further. So, um, yeah, but the community for me and what it's really brought into my life has just been absolutely magical. And now I've gotten to a point where things are so much in flow and I've gained so much in this in this business that I'm now able to give back. So creating events and unleashing your wild what we call it. And I know that's the topic of this conversation. <laughs> well, that's what Tom, I know yeah. because I saw, I mean, Ash has that on her page, you know, unleash your wild, but she just started a group in Sydney um, on Wednesday night. Yes, so no, Wednesday night was the uh, first one. Um, with um, Alyssa, who was on this show about two weeks ago, um in sydney and i tell you what if i'm in sydney when there's one on i'll be coming along yes yeah. so every every month we're we're locking it in susie so i'll right. hold you to that okay well i'll let you know when i'm uh, when i'm coming down um but yeah so if anybody who's watching wants to join yeah that, just get in touch with that yeah is that it? that whole um we all have um, a wild soul within. Mm. So often we push it down. Yeah. We, yeah. we, we think we're not good enough, what yeah. other people think. Yes. So what is you it? Know, what is so it? It's surroundings as well, isn't it? Uh, it's about your environment. Yeah, the environment mm. you live in as well. Um, I always think where I live, because I call it paradise, um but that is you know like well i'll share i mean i wrote, i shared a post about this i had a really amazing day on monday and on tuesday i went boom ah. and it wasn't until i actually went to the beach in the afternoon that i really got grounded again and I, was, mm. I should have just done that early in the morning which i normally do so yeah. it's interesting that we have practices that we know can lift us up and put yeah. us back in that love that we feel for yeah. ourselves. But so often uh, life gets in the way. Um, for Ash, she has um, Theo, young, yeah. young boy, and husband. And, you know, things get in the way and we forget. Mm. So we need yeah. to have, I remember this, so she says we need to have um, a a, a rememory, a rememory that we bring in. So, what are some of the things that you do um, that empower you, Ashley? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a, you have some daily rituals. Well, you know, Susie, this is something I've really started embodying so much more lately because for far too long I put so much pressure on myself to, you know, meditate completely for at least half an hour to an hour a day right, right. Or, 
yeah, and for me as a young mum, a mum of a young child, my days are pretty well unpredictable. <laughs> so I've learned to just accept and honour myself if I can, you know, take five, ten minutes of my day just to sit still. Um, and then, you know, and then that's enough. Like even if it's just sitting having a cup of tea, like, Really, I do like to do a guided meditation and have that half an hour. But if it doesn't happen for the day, instead of beating myself up, like <laughs> the older version of myself would have done, I just, you know, Ash, you've, you've had that five-minute cup of tea. It's okay, you know. Maybe tonight when Theo goes to bed, let's fill your cup and, you know, go upstairs into the meditation zone. So I think for me I've just learnt whatever fits for me and feels right for me in that moment. So it might not always be guided meditation. It might be putting on, I love putting on multicultural music right. and dancing to that and like really letting my body flow. And that's something I can incorporate in with Theo when he is away. Yeah. So just thinking outside of the box and doing stuff together, going down to the beach because I am blessed to live right near the beach. And if Theo's away, I can take him and that's, you know, beautiful energy for him as well but also for me so there are days where I don't necessarily get that big block of time but I think outside the box so yeah I think my top of the thing though Susie is I love guided meditation um and just like cultural instrumental music flowing mm -hmm. through my headphones and lying down um and going into nature over to the beach right that's beautiful yeah. And do you have, um, I've just been doing the 5 a.m. club. I'm on day, uh, I've missed a couple of days. I'm on day 58. Oh, just put in the group that I'm in today. Uh, is anybody getting to, this is meant to be the beautiful time, the last 22 days. And I'm getting that this is not actually working for me because I'm somebody who mm. likes to meditate. I like to journal mm. uh, each morning. And this is sort of a bit of a, re a regiment of 20 minutes exercise, 20 minutes meditation, journaling, gratitude, 20 minutes learning, reading. Yeah. So, no, I'm going to vary it. I'll, I'm going to get to the 66 days because I'm so close to it. Yeah. And yeah. I do vary it anyway. But it's interesting that there are, there are a lot of practices where people say, right, so you've got to do this, 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 this mm. before you start your day. I did see uh, I did see something once on your page that made me really laugh, which was oh, now and now I've got to go and I've got to spend I've got to populate <clears throat> me, populate my page before <laughs> I do this and and that and so there's so many we can get stuck in so many rules. Yes, I think um you know in all honesty, Susie, I think being you know that we are online such a big you know it's a global space right and people are giving value all the time which is beautiful but we can take that on and feel like I need to do this to mm. get to that right? right but when we can really listen to our bodies and what our heart and soul needs yeah. that's where the true magic happens because for probably like a year of my business I've been doing it over two years now for a good year I was, I was thinking, right, I need to do that because that person recommended that that works for them. So I'd go on these tangents and I'll try and force these practices into my day, but my day is different to their day, right? What feels good for me is different to what feels good for them. So, yeah, it's taken a while for the penny to drop, but I just feel into what feels good for me and I do that and since I've really embodied that it's like magic it's just flowing so much more I so think yeah. that's yeah I think that is just so important because I've been um although I like to see myself as a free spirit and I'm embracing this wild soul that has been sitting up here on my shoulder for about two years um and this is before I came into um our business 
but I was looking at um, what, what I was going to be doing. And um, there's this amazing woman, Leonie Dawson, which um, some of you may know, who's a very, just closed down her shining uh, business and life academy that I've been part of for many years. And she's somebody, she sets goals. Set goals would be um, a, a top person in a company that she joined uh, a year or so ago made a million and that I remember her saying and I, we had this conversation on one of the last calls was I remember when you said to me I said to you, what you do is creativity self-love and abundance for wild souls I thought oh yeah that's okay but I never embraced it and it sort of came back recently and I've decided yeah. the people that I want to be working with mm -hmm. people like Ash because she is a wild soul um, and um, the next time you come up, we'll do a live um, from one of the cafes or the beach. In person, yes. Uh, the is, I want to attract the people who are wild souls, who yeah. want to be expansive, who truly want to make a difference in the world. Yeah. And, you know, and it doesn't matter. I think one of the things I like to say to people is, it doesn't matter how old you are. Yeah. We can all start again. We can yeah. all start afresh. And if something hasn't been working, which for me things quite haven't, because I've been trying to do exactly what I said. I've been do this because somebody said I should do this and this and this. Yeah. And I'm then in the middle of creating a new vision. Yeah. A whole new vision that love it. Yeah, and I think it's you, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty unique anyway. Yeah. And, and yesterday I got very vulnerable on somebody else's show and I shared my whole story about my life and my new death experiences, which I tend to hide away. And I realised, well, that's who I am and that's probably why I'm sitting here because that was my draw a line in the sand moment about um, self love. And that. So, and how do you think you're saying now it's becoming magical? And are you seeing um, a larger flow of abundance coming into your life? Can you see yourself moving towards your vision? Yeah, absolutely. Like for me, of late, I, well, for a long time, I really wanted to call health and lightness and energy into my life because I knew I was bringing in, like I had the business and I'd started getting results in the business. So I knew that was in check, but I was really neglecting like the health side of things. And I've just, I don't know, since I've started saying yes to me and what my like soul is calling in I feel like everything's clicking into place so I had you know I had a list of things that I wanted to call in by the end of the year and now it's almost the end of the year oh my gosh I look and I'm like wow I've really been able to achieve that and that was just by I think standing in my power becoming more confident about me and the, the choices that I get to make and um yeah saying yes so yeah I mean well, that's amazing I don't know whether you saw the post I put up earlier today I have some I must have left them outside um I I shuffled the cards this morning and I thought oh what will I um you know which I will just pull it up the message I actually wrote um this morning that I've said, I do this thing every day called a love whisper, or most days, not every day, because every day puts pressure on me. So some days I do let it. Doesn't feel yeah. good. <laughs> I just, you took it. I realised, I mean, as Des says this to me, I, I make it make it hard for myself sometimes. So I had, when I embrace me, I say yes. And the path to prosperity opens and flows. And they were the two oh. cars. So if anybody goes and has a look on both in the wall of my page and my profile. And I thought that was really appropriate for what we were talking about today. Yes. 
to actually let your wild soul out. out. Yes. You have to say yes to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, for me, like that wild side really more represent coming home to yourself, coming back to that natural state of being. And yeah, that wild side. So it's just, it's such a perfect um, title for the event. Oh, and it's yeah, so everybody there. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Yeah, well, I normally, often I'm the, I either draw a card or because these ones tie in so well mm. to um, what, what uh, we've been talking about today. Yeah. So, as you can see, one of the big takeaways from this is to really unleash your wild self, you have to say yes to you. So yeah. you have to do the work mm -hmm. to allow the prosperity, the abundance to flow. Yes. So as we as we're finishing up, Ash, I'm just wondering: is do you have um, a tool, a tip, or a piece of advice you mm -hmm. can give to the uh, the what the listeners and the viewers? Yeah. Well, I think I'm. I feel really cool to saying this because I am a big believer of feeling into what feels good for you and doing that. But please don't be mistaken that you do need to take aligned action as well, <laughs> right? So it's not it's not all about this doesn't feel good, so I'm going to do nothing because if nothing changes, nothing changes, right? And yeah, so yeah. my thing is feel into it and then take fierce, wild, aligned action. I love that. I want to put I'll put that into the show notes. Yeah. That is yeah. brilliant. And that brings into, I always remember when I um, trained as a law of attraction facilitator, you must remember the law of attraction, the last word of, the, of, of um, that is action. Yes. Is yes. action. Right. And so often, you know, oh, this is fear. No, you have to feel good about what you're doing. Mm. And the other thing, of course, you need to do is you be, need to be very grateful for yes. what you have in your life because that also helps to raise your life. Mm -hmm. And yeah. to move in and to live this fully abundant life, you do need to be in high vibes. Not yes. every moment of the day. Yeah. When you're taking, right, what Ash is saying about so feeling into it, you get into the feeling, raise your vibes before you go out and take the action. Because then you'll find what you're doing will bring you more joy. Yes. <laughs> well, I think on that note, we will finish today. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed having you on the show. I love chatting with you, Susie. And I'll share this as a watch party and you'll also, I'll send you, it'll be on YouTube and on my website. So you'll oh. be able to share it around. Yeah, you've got it all happening. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me on, everyone. It's my absolute joy. And um, we will see one another soon. And as I say to everybody, be you, become abundant and do Remember to love yourself into abundance. Namaste.